Hello, welcome to a new video from Ozen Engineering. My name is Ahmed Al Kundur, and today I'm going to show you how to perform a structure analysis using Ansys Discovery 2020 R2.5. Uh, and this video will be part one. Let's start. Okay, when you open Discovery, this will be the main menu you will see. If you are familiar with it, you can skip it. If not, I will highly recommend that you go over it. This is a very uh, useful interactive tool to familiarize yourself with the different uh, tools and component and uh, navigation tools that you can use uh, inside the software. It will also show you how to use the interactive help, which is uh, very, very useful and very common to use using the F1 button. Uh, there is always, you can always start an interactive tool that will also be very useful if you are new to the software. Otherwise, you can just open the home page. I'm going to import this CAD. You can always import any CAD from any of the, uh, almost all the common extension like set file, uh, inventor, uh, CATIA, etc. Or you can uh, create your own tool from scratch here uh, in the interface, which is based on uh, space plane. So I'm double clicking on this. Okay, once you once we open the CAD, you will see that uh, we are in the explore mode. There is three modes with discovery. The first one is model here at the bottom. Model is basically uh, used for creating CAD or editing and, and uh, preparing or manipulating the CAD. So if you are familiar with uh, space claim, it will be exactly the same uh, menus here. And then the second one is explore. Once we go to explore, you will find that the simulation tab is active. And here we use a GPU to solve to get an instantaneous solution. And that's the main power uh, and advantage of a discovery live. And then the last one is refine, which is basically solving on CPUs and it's used a mechanical uh, solver from ANSYS, a uh, mechanical APDL solver. It's uh, slower because it's building uh, using the CPU but it's also gave you more freedom with mesh as well as more uh, accurate results. Okay, so we go back to explore. So uh, on the left menu, on the left side here, we see the viewing uh, tools, selecting side view, top view, uh, or home view, or selecting uh, shaded or wide frame, etc. On the bottom right, we select, uh, we can see here, this is for the results and post-processing but they are, uh, you can see they are not active now because of the install solution yet. Okay. So by default, the structure still is selected for all the materials, uh, for all the components. You can always at any time change the material from here. I can select any material from here. You can see there's a big library here, but if you have ANSYS Granta, you will have hundreds and hundreds of uh, materials you can use. And at any time, you can also uh, create your own material. If, if you want to add your own material, you can easily add it here. Okay. So uh, for this demo, I'm going to just use this part. So I'm going to solve physics on, uh, selection only. So I'm going to select this part. Just before I do this, let me show you quickly here. See all these components here have this green and eye icons. For the eye mean, view or hide and the icon green mean it's included in the physics if it's red that means it's not included in the physics or suppressed so we need to work with this one only so i'm going to solve physics on this one only so we'll see everything else is turned red and then i'm going to select all and hide so this is the part i'm going to be working with today to perform the analysis we need to add boundary conditions there's two ways to do that first one is from here from the ribbon Okay, I can select the ribbon uh, from the ribbon here, or I can select it from this hollow here, and I go from here. Okay, so let, I'm going to use both. So I'm going to start with this face, and I'm going to select fix support. You can see it's selected once I accept. It's added to the uh, to the tree here in the physics tree. Please note that gravity is added, but it's excluded. At any time, if you want to add gravity, you just need to click include, and then it will be uh, added to your uh, analysis, and, it, and then you can select which direction you want to add the physics, uh, you want to add the gravity uh, to be working on. Okay, so I'm going to hit skip twice, 
And then if I go here, I'm going to add now the, uh, the pick support using the, the ribbon. I'm going to select this face and fix support. And keep in mind, you can select fix, sliding, or displaced. And there is two here, they are uh, grayed out because they are only active in the uh, refined module uh, only. So I'm going to accept fix and it's added here. You see that it's always active in case you want to add uh, more boundary condition, but uh, I don't want to add more boundary condition, so I'm going to hit escape twice. Now I need to add internal pressure, so I need to select the internal faces. So I go to the hollow and then select the internal uh, the, using the boundary selection. Okay, and then I'm going to select this face and this face and this face. And then using this selection, I'm going to select the internal faces. And then I'll go to here uh, to the ribbon and select pressure and add 1000 Pascal. You can always uh, add the unit or you can change the unit from here if you want. I'm going to click enter. And now we can see the pressure is added uh, to the component. Please always remember you can always click F1 so you can have interactive help that will come and whatever on the screen, it will show you what, what the meaning of this and how you can use this and even show you on the left here, some example or can take you to the online help. So please keep this in mind. This is very, very useful tool. You can click close here or you can just double escape. And you're good. Uh, now we're ready. You see now we have a uh, structure simulation here because we have uh, selected stru uh, structure analysis. And now this is colored, that means it's ready to solve. So I'm gonna hit solve. And you see this is the white line moving, that means it's solving. And once it's done, it's all green and it's all moved, it's already done. So now let's look at the results. I can see that uh, we have a displacement. This is a displacement. We can see we have uh, one stresses. We can look at uh, stress. In, in, in whatever direction of interest, X, Y, Z, or shear stress. We can look at uh, strain, reaction force, etc. And we can also have a cross section. You can see I can have internal cross section here and I can manipulate the location and the orientation of this cross section by selecting this face here. And I then start moving forward and backward or I can even rotate it by any angle I want. Let's say I'm gonna say 90 degree. So I can have a side cross section, okay? Or I can just rotate it manually if I want the way, basically whatever I want to change it. Okay, so now we have this cross section. Let me go back. Uh, you can always, okay, double escape. You can always look at a monitors as well. I can create, let's say, a monitor for the maximum releases. Okay, let me go back and show the maximum releases here first. To know where it is. And you can also show uh, here uh, minimum and maximum. Uh, by the way, if you want to uh, manipulate uh, the the scale on the right, you can always pull up and down so you can manipulate that or you can manually enter it. So let's see. So now we know the maximum is here on this cur curve here and the value is 14 mega Pascal. So this is our first analysis is completed. Everything looks fine. Now we know where the maximum. Now the power of uh, discovery could be used here by basically what solving what if scenario. So I want to see, okay, what if I have, how can I reduce this one? I, one? One suggestion obviously will be to reduce this curve and make it, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, to increase the radius of this curve. So to do this, I'm gonna select the face and then click the letter P, which is full. And instead of two, I'm gonna write six, so it's now bigger. Now, once I do this and hit solve, okay, see it's solving now. We have a monitor here will tell us how the value is it increased or decreased. You can see it's obviously decreased because we make it less 
uh, concentrated, so it's reduced, okay? Uh, we can also try and stop this. It's always recommended stop if you wanna do some modification. Now let's see, okay, what if I, instead of using structured steel, I'm gonna use another material. So let me, let's say I'm gonna use, uh, let's say concrete for example, okay? Just uh, for the sake of having different material properties. And now we're solving. Now we will see how, how the stresses will be. Okay, you can see the volume is even reduced uh, when we do that. So this is a very useful tool to add a, 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 a monitor. You can always add more than the one and add displacement. Okay, you can add uh, also like you can customize what you want. All of these tools will be very helpful uh, to uh, to trace the change of of your uh, the, the changes that will happen when you do your what if scenarios. So now let's say we are done with this and satisfied. Oh, one thing also to mention here is very important. You see this here, this scale here is fidelity. By fidelity, we mean improving the mesh. It's, uh, so if I, if I push this from here to here, for example, then it will resolve again with improving the mesh. You will see the details is better and take Fewer seconds longer, but still very fast compared to solving on CPU because we are here benefiting from the GPU. You see it's solving, almost done. And you can see the change happen when we improve the, the mesh. And we can see more details now. That's really cool. Okay, so now let's say you are happy with this, but you want to do more and more analysis. In this case, you can go to refine. But keep in mind, when you go to refine, what you will do now, you will have local mesh and global mesh under control. So you can have control now on what to add, but you'll be solving on CPU, okay? And you will be solving on the typical mechanical solver, mechanical APDL solver. Uh, and then it will be slower, but it will you will have more and more control as well. Uh, one thing to add is either in refine or explore at any time you can click on transfer. Once you click on transfer mechanical, it will create, you, you can create a file that is discovery life, uh, that file. Basically what will happen is create a file that you can open in ANSYS mechanical. It will take the CAD, the material and the boundary conditions. And if you are doing, if you have, if you did it in explore, then mesh will not be transferred. If you do it in refine, mesh will be transferred. So for example, if we are in refine now, and then I say solve. This will be very slow now, okay? Because it's uh, solving in the CPU. You see it's obviously slower than solving in the GPU. I cannot see the mesh unless this go uh, after the half of it. So once this passes the half, I will be able to click on this icon and show the mesh. So if I click now here, all right, here the mesh but obviously it's still solving, so I cannot see any result here. But you can see now how the mesh is, and with the tool of local and global mesh, you can even uh, improve that if, if you want or change it uh, the way you are in, or, of interest. And if you transfer to mechanical, this is a mesh that will go with you and will give you uh, ability to add more and more control on your solving. Okay, so now this is solved. Almost solved here, we can look at results. No, not yet, because this is not a discovery life. This is refined, so we need it to be completely uh, solved. Again, this is slower because it's solving on CPU, not on GPU. So that's expected to be uh, slower. Uh, one thing else to add uh, until this is done, in the, in the uh, future videos, we will add uh, how to solve using uh, CFD analysis, also how to solve thermal analysis and how to do uh, mechanical and uh, thermal, thermal stress uh, analysis. Okay, let's see what the message we have here. Computing additional result. Okay, so that means it's still solving. Okay. Almost done. Okay, here we go. You see the, the, the warning, uh, the message is done. And now we can see the result and we can make a cross section if you want. 
you can show the result, the mesh or hide the mesh. So you can now have more control uh, compared to uh, solving on the explore. Okay, let's hide the mesh. All right, so this is basically what I wanted to show you in uh, structural analysis today. In the next video, we'll add more and more uh, features like how to use context and adding other uh, tools here. Uh, if you have any question, please add it to the comment section and we will answer you. Uh, please don't forget to see the following uh, videos because it will show you more tools and how to do other analysis as well. Thank you so much.